Chapter 7 India the land of monsoon climate class 6 social science something to know question a tick the correct option 1 which one of the following places in india experience very high temperature option a jaisalmer 2 which one of the following places receive the highest annual rainfall in the world option b mozambique 3. In which areas are the rhinoceros found? Option C. Swamps of Assam. 4. Identify the type of forests found in Kerala. Option B. Tropical evergreen forests. 5. In which type of forests are kiko and bubble trees found? Option C. The thorny forests. Question B. Fill in the blanks. 1. The Northwest India experiences extreme climate. 2. Mumbai enjoys moderate climate. 3. Tropical cyclones strike the eastern coasts of India. 4. Most of the rainfall in India is caused by Southwest monsoon. 5. Sundari is the important tree of mangrove forests. Question C. Match the following. 1. Hot and dry wind of northern India. Option D. Loon. 2. National animal of India. Option E. Tiger. 3. Moss and Ram. It is in Meghalaya. Option A. 4. Animal of prey. Option B. Lion. 5. Run of catch. Option C. Wireless. Question D. Answer the following questions in brief. 1. State the significance of monsoon for the people of India. The significance of monsoon for the people of India are as follows. It gives relief from the oppressive heat. If it arrives on time, people can expect a good crop. 2. Why do the northern parts of India experience extreme climate? Northern parts of India experience extreme climate because it is away from the moderating influence of the sea. Thus, the summers are extremely hot and winters are extremely cold. 3. Which type of natural vegetation is found in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands? Tropical evergreen forests are found in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. 4. Where are one-horned rhinoceros found in India? One-horned rhinoceros are found in the marshes of Assam and West Bengal. 5. Give one important reason for a large variety of wildlife found in India. India's diverse habitats and climatic conditions foster a rich variety of wildlife. Question E. Answer the following questions. 1. Distinguish between tropical evergreen forests and tropical deciduous forests. Tropical evergreen forests are also called tropical rainforests, while tropical deciduous forests are called monsoon forests. Evergreen forests grow in the areas of rainfall over 200 cm per annum, while deciduous forests grow in the areas of rainfall between 100 cm to 200 cm per annum. Evergreen forests are dense and remain green throughout the year. Deciduous forests shed their leaves during dry season. Trees like rose oak, ebony and bamboo are found in evergreen forests, while trees like people, teak and jamun are found in deciduous forests. Question 2. Why do we need to conserve our natural vegetation? 
we need to conserve our natural vegetation because the forests are the source of various products. They prevent soil erosion. They help in purifying the air. They increase the amount of rainfall. Forests are also the habitat of wildlife. 3. Highlight two main features of the retreating monsoon. The two main features of the retreating monsoon are the monsoon winds start retreating from the northern plains when temperature begins to fall in the months of October and November. The weather in North India becomes clear but high humidity makes it very oppressive and sultry. 4. Why does the natural vegetation in the Himalayan mountains change with altitude? The natural vegetation in the Himalayan mountains changes with altitude due to variation in temperature. Temperature decreases with higher altitude, influencing plant growth and leading to distinct vegetation zones adapted to specific temperature ranges. Changes in precipitation Altitude affects precipitation patterns, with lower elevations receiving more rainfall, supporting lush forests, while higher elevation experiences less precipitation favoring hardier alpine plants. Atmospheric pressure shifts. Atmospheric pressure decreases with altitude, impacting oxygen levels and making it challenging for certain plants to thrive at higher elevations. Soil conditions at different elevations. Altitude related factors like temperature and precipitation influence soil development, affecting the type of plants that can thrive at different elevations. 5. What efforts have been made in India to preserve our rich wildlife? Following efforts have been made in India to preserve our rich wildlife. A number of wildlife sanctuaries and national parks have been set up all over India. Many biosphere reserves have been set up. Project Tiger, a nationwide campaign to protect tiger was launched in 1973. The killing of wildlife has been banned by the government. Thank you.